Hey guys, um, so if you've noticed that the period and uh, frequency okay, have similar formulas, you are correct. Okay, so we said that the period formula um, is uh, the period equals the time over the number of revolutions. We said that the frequency is equal to um, the number of revolutions per time. Notice uh, t over n, n over t. So these are very similar. Um, they're actually exactly opposite of each other. So t over n, n over t. Okay, we got this type of deal going on here. So, um, what I'm going to uh, point out to you is that uh, the period is equal to the inverse of the frequency, okay, 1 over f. The frequency is equivalent to the inverse of the period, okay? So, uh, we can... We can safely say that because these two are the opposite of each other, the inverses of each other. So period and frequency have a relationship, and that's an inverse relationship. So let's just look at a problem, uh, a simple problem here. So if we have an object that has a period of four seconds, takes four seconds to go around the circle, what's the frequency of its motion? Okay, so we know that frequency is equal to 1 over the period. So if that's the case, then frequency is 1 over 4, and it's 0.25 hertz. So the answer is 0.25 hertz. Okay, the frequency is 1 over the period. Okay? Now, um, if we look at another one, Okay, and it says um, an object is revolving around with a frequency of 8 hertz. What's its period? Okay, so this is 8 cycles per second. What's the period here? So again, we've got a formula that says the period is 1 over the frequency. So the period here is going to be uh, 1 over 8. Okay, or, you know, you can call it 1 eighth, um, you know, or, uh, or you could call it like 0.13 seconds. So this takes uh, 0.13 seconds to go around once. This is 8 cycles per second, okay, 8 times per second. Okay. We're going to be getting into some more detailed uh, problems where we uh, look at planets and such. Um, so um, we'll take a peek at that later on. Okay. Thank you and have a good day.